Hello, my name is Tamir McCarter, and today I'll be showing you how to place pictures using Adobe InDesign. To begin, I've already opened a default document, and we're going to place pictures. So you begin with the rectangle tool, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle on the page. And then you go over to the black arrow, which will allow me to maneuver the square anywhere on the page. So I'm just going to leave it here. And now for placing pictures, you'll go up to File, down to Place. And here are some simple pictures. And I'm just going to choose the penguin picture and press Open. And as you can see, the penguins will appear inside the square or the rectangle. So now I'm just dragging down the rectangle so that the full the penguin is inside of the rectangle itself. Now this is not the whole picture so in order to see the whole picture I'm going to right click, go over to fitting, and fill frame proportionally which will allow all the penguins to reveal within the square. Now let's say that I wanted to drag the rectangle down and make it smaller. Well now the penguins heads are cut off and so again I'll right click, go over to fitting, fill frame proportionally and the penguins will all appear within the rectangle or the square. Now let's say I wanted a bigger rectangle or square and I want us to cut off one of the penguins in the picture or move the picture around so that the picture all fit within the square without using the right click. I'm going to use it now to fill the rectangle again. But let's say I wanted to cut out this penguin here. So I would go to this white arrow right beneath the black arrow and then it'll allow me to drag the picture around within the square. And I can take one of the or one of the penguins out of the picture. And now, as we can see, there are some excess square left out. So all I have to do is highlight and make the square smaller to match the picture. And that's all you have to do to place pictures on Adobe InDesign. It's really simple.